Good morning everyone. Today we will discuss another topic from your unit 1 that is philosophy of education. All right. So now let us see the meaning of philosophy. So philosophy is originated from a Greek word that is philosophia which is made up of two words. Philo means love and sophia means wisdom. Okay. So the literal meaning of philosophy is love of wisdom or patience of learning. So philosophy is nothing but it is a love for wisdom or patience for learning. Alright, so now let's see the definition of philosophy. So the first definition is philosophy is a science of knowledge. Okay, it is considered as a science of knowledge where this definition was given by Fitch. And the next definition is it is a science of all sciences. So this definition was given by Colbridge. And the next definition it says philosophy is a search for comprehensive view of nature and attempt at the universal explanation of the nature of things so this definition was given by alfred weber so according to alfred weber he says that philosophy is a search for an overall view of the nature where through the nature they try they make an attempt to search for the universal explanation of the nature that exists in the universe so now let's see the classification of educational philosophies. Okay, so educational philosophies has been classified into two types. One is traditional philosophies and the other one is modern philosophies. Where again, traditional philosophies is further divided into four types and modern philosophies again divided into five types. So traditional philosophies are naturalism, idealism, pragmatism and realism. So they, they are traditional philosophies all right so next is the modern philosophies so modern philosophies are perennialism essentialism existentialism reconstructionism and progressivism so this is the classification of educational philosophies now let us discuss one by one on the various philosophies that is traditional philosophies as well as modern philosophies so first we will discuss about the traditional philosophies all right so the first one is naturalism so the chief proponents for this naturalism philosophies are Rabindranath Tagore, Jean, Jacques Rossius and John and Hendricks chief proponents are nothing but a person who has developed these philosophies or who has proposed this philosophy okay so the next we will see the concept of naturalism so the concept of naturalism focuses on educating the human generation about in the nature itself okay so they try to educate the students in the nature itself rather than creating any artificial environment for the students to learn from there okay so they focus on the nature rather than teaching the students from an any artificial environment so the organization and aim of education here is they consider nature uh, nature as the source of learning and here nature is considered as the classroom where the student can able to acquire enough or rich knowledge from the classroom itself so the next is the curriculum so curriculum is based on the child's nature the child's interest and the child need and this they stress the subject which were dealing only with nature for example like physics chemistry biology language and mathematics okay so this is about the curriculum for naturalism so the next one is the method of education so the method of education in curriculum it focuses on direct experience of nature through observation experimentation and playway method okay so playway method is nothing but it is an activity based learning okay so like for example like uh, a teacher is teaching the students on uh, animal okay so like instead of just teaching the students about animal in the classroom the teacher can take the student in a zoo where the student can able to observe all those animals and can able to learn from there so like that is an example of playway method okay so in naturalism uh, method of education they focus on direct observation experimentation and playway method so the next is the role of a teacher here teacher 
act as an observer and facilitator of the child to develop in nature okay so here the teacher observe the students and facilitate the students so that they can able to learn from the nature itself so the next is the discipline so here they don't follow on rigid or firm discipline but they let the students to freely uh, move around and free discipline is uh, given to the students so that they can able to acquire optimum desired learning so next is idealism so the chief proponents here are dr radhakrishnan sri arunobindo plato rose and socrates so they were the person who has developed this philosophy so the next is the concept here here they believe that the egg of knowledge takes place within the mind of the individual into three values okay first is the intellectual ability of the students the aesthetic aesthetic is nothing but uh, the appearance or the beauty or the art of learning okay and moral values so based on these three values they teach the students that is intellect intellect aesthetic and moral values and the purpose of education is development of the student's mind and self so the organized existentialism are education must develop a develop the consciousness about the freedom of choice among learners because a man become what he chooses for his self so here the concept of education focuses on giving freedom to the students so that they can able to choose on whatever subject that they want to learn okay so because it says that a man becomes a man becomes what he chooses for himself and education must equip the individual for better choices and the organization and aim of education here is to develop child's knowledge about human condition and the choice that the person has to make for his life here the curriculum it provides free opportunity for children to select from many available learning situation and choosing the subject that the learner wish to choose okay so here curriculum they doesn't give a fixed curriculum to the students but student can able to freely choose on whatever subject matter that they want to learn okay and the method of education here is self activity of the learner such as self expressive activities experimentation method and media that illustrate emotional feelings and insight where thereby the student can able to actively choose uh, or actively learn from from the subject through self activity or by experimenting and the role of a teacher here is they promote freedom to the learner to make personal choice and individual self definition okay so role of a teacher here is not a facilitator nor the detector but teacher give freedom to the students so that they can able to choose on whatever things that they want to learn and the discipline here is teacher create an environment in which student may freely choose their own preferred way okay student teacher doesn't provide a rigid discipline to the students but they create the environment in such a way that student can freely choose their own preferred way of learning so the next one is reconstructionism so the chief proponents here are theodore permant george counts and below ferry so the concept here is it believes on reorganizing and restructuring the process of education okay so here they focus on reorganizing and restructuring the process of education based on the so society social and cultural changes and due to that it can bring some changes in the community society and the country okay so the organization and aim of education here is the philosophy recommends a formal way of education as well as informal way of education so that desired aim of education can be achieved by reconstructing and restructuring of the society and the curriculum here should be conceived with a new social economic and political interest as we have seen in the concept then they try to restructure and reconstruct the syllabus in such a way that it brings some change or it brings some development in the society right so according to that the curriculum should focus on the changing trends of the socio economic as well as the political changes according to that the curriculum should be 
and the method of education here, they believe that teaching method must be organized in manner that student becomes self-reliant. Okay, student should not be dependent on the teacher, but student should be self-reliant in inculcating the education. All right, and education must be activity oriented, do develop necessary activities and abilities of the students. And the role of a teacher here is role of a teacher is taken the social responsibilities and along with the student they must become the agent to improve society okay so teachers should not only guide the student but they should go along with the students okay they should uh, co correlate with the students or they should go along with the students in order to bring some changes in the society and the discipline here the philosophy of education propagates optimum level of discipline but not a rigid discipline here also they don't follow or they don't focus on a rigid strict discipline so the next one is progressivism so the chief proponents here are Horace Mann, Henry Bernard and John Dewey so the concept of progressivism is they view school as a democratic society so I hope you know what you mean by democratic democratic is nothing but freedom to choose something right so they view school as a democratic society in which students can learn and practice whatever they wish to learn in the school itself and uh, but thereby the skills and tools necessary for democratic living okay so the concept here is they view school as a democratic society where students can able to inculcate or learn whatever things they are they want to learn for democratic living and the aims of education here is to promote democratic social living curriculum is based on the student interests also it involves the application of human problems as well as human affairs and the role of a teacher here teacher should serve as a guide or as a leader of the group and they should involve the student in planning the activities or whatever activities that they are planning to give to the student they should involve the student in planning those activities all right so this is all about philosophies of education okay so we have seen uh, different types of philosophies based on the two types one is traditional philosophies and the other one is uh, modern philosophies all right so in the in the traditional philosophies we have seen naturalism idealism pragmatism and realism and in the modern philosophies we have seen perennialism essentialism extensionalism reconstructionism and progressivism so i hope you have understood today's class okay so thank you so much for listening